There's an unlimited amount of amazing cameras on the market, but if you're on a really tight budget, I think the NEX5R is the perfect camera for you. Here's why. So over the past few months, I've been reviewing and testing out various NEX cameras from Sony, and I think the NEX5R is the perfect one. Now, if you've seen my review of the Sony NEX 5N, a lot of this is gonna feel familiar because this is basically a beefed up version of that camera. So I'd recommend going and checking out that review as well. And the NEX 5N was an awesome camera, but this right here just takes it to a whole new level. So first things first, the Sony NEX 5R comes in at a whopping $100, give or take a few. So for comparison, the A6000 from Sony is about $300 on eBay used, and the new A6600 comes in at $1,200. What do you even get for 1 12th of the price of Sony's newest camera? I'm gonna get right into that, but first, go down and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I put a lot of time and effort into these videos, so I'd really appreciate it, it'd really help me out a lot. So go do that, and now let's get right into the Sony NEX 5R. So this camera shares a lot of the pros and cons of the Sony NEX 5N. Cause like I said, it's basically just a beefed up big brother of the NEX 5N. You know, the remodel, the revamp, whatever you'd call it. So I'm gonna quickly just go over the pros of this camera, you know, the awesome stuff that it does. And then I'll go over some of the really cool things about it that its previous generation didn't have. So of course it has 1080p at 24 and 60 frames a second. It's interchangeable lens, so you can put Sony's E-mount lenses on it. It has full manual controls. It shoots raw photos, 16 megapixels. It's super light and it's super portable. And it has a couple awesome features that the previous generation of NEX cameras didn't have. And it actually fixes some of the problems that I had with the Sony NEX 5N. And that is the full flipping screen. So the screen flips all the way forward like this. So you can vlog with it, you can see yourself if you're recording a YouTube video or taking selfies or anything like that. And obviously it still tilts down and everything else that the Sony NEX5 ended, but now it just has the extra feature of flipping all the way forward like that. So that's super awesome. I don't usually vlog or film myself that often, but like something like when I'm in the studio right now, I'm filming with my a7 III, I actually have to use my phone as a monitor because I can't see myself at all with it and see what's in focus and what's in frame because it doesn't have the flippy screen like this does. Another feature this camera has is this dial right here that lets you change the aperture while you're recording or just any time without having to dig into the settings or mess around like the other cameras. You can just use this dial right here to change the aperture and it makes it super quick and easy to do that. And it's just another extra feature this has that the previous generation like the NEX 5N didn't have. So as I was saying, with my a7 III, I have to use my phone as a monitor like this to see what's in frame and uh, you know, see what's in focus when I'm doing videos like this. And keep in mind the a7 III came out in 2018. Meanwhile, this camera right here has a flippy screen and it's six years older. It came out in 2012 and it's one step ahead of Sony's newer cameras. So, you know, I don't know what they're thinking. Now the new Sony APS-C cameras have a flippy screen like this, but I don't know, I just think it's weird that, you know, the high-end full-frame Sony cameras don't have anything like that. Basically what I'm saying is the flippy screen is super useful, even if you don't vlog, like, you know, I don't vlog or anything like that very often, and it's still super useful. Like, it, it really comes in handy in times that you wouldn't think you need it. So, flip screen, another huge pro of the Sony NEX 5R. So I've been talking about a lot of good things about this camera, but there is obviously some downsides. Every camera, Everything in this world has downsides. So let's go over those right now. First things first, one of the cons of this camera is that there's no hot shoe mount on top. So if you look right on top here, it's it's just empty. You know, it's just flat. There's two little microphones right there. There's this like accessory mount thing right here. You can put flashes on and stuff, but there's no hot shoe mount. And so that sucks for a couple reasons. First things first, I like to mount a light on top of my camera sometimes, you know, if I'm filming uh, at nighttime or, you know, taking pictures at night or whatever. I like to mount just a little video light on top, which mounts with a hot shoe mount. So I can't put a light on top. And also I can't put a microphone on top. Like I have a microphone on top of my camera right now recording me, 
I can't do that with this because again, there's no hot shoe mount. You can't put a microphone and a light. There's just a lot of little things like that that you just can't do because there's no hot shoe mount on this camera. There's also no microphone input jack on this camera either. So if you wanna use an external microphone, you're gonna to have to use an external recorder as well, like your phone or just an external you know, recorder that you can plug a mic into because you can't plug a mic into this. No mic input, really sucks. So those are the two big downsides. Um, obviously, if you watch my NEX 5N review, uh, I talked about that as well because none of the NEX cameras have that, except for the newer ones like the NEX 7, I believe is the only one that has a microphone input. And so going off of those two things, if you wanna use this for vlogging, uh, for YouTube videos, that sort of thing, these internal microphones will pick up audio. Like it, it has audio that'll pick up. It's just not gonna be very good at all. I'm actually gonna show you a test of that right now, of uh, kind of vlogging with this camera. So it'll give you an idea of what it's like with just using the internal microphones. You could do it and you know, don't let it hold you back if you wanna vlog or something like that. Just go do it. I'm just saying that these are not the best quality. Really any external microphone even a cheap one is gonna be better quality than these mics. So anyways, roll the test footage. Here's a little vlogging test with these internal microphones and the flippy screen, you know, just a little vlog test. Here we go. So yeah, this is uh, what it'd be like if you're vlogging. I'm holding about arm's length away uh, with this 24 millimeter lens. So it's a little close up, but about arm's length away with the built-in microphones, uh, just a quick audio test. So yeah, testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing. One, two, three. All right, so now I got the camera about six feet away from me to represent maybe like a studio setting, or if you uh, set the camera down, you know, you're about six feet away, about two arms lengths away. So yeah, I'm gonna test the audio here. So testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So yeah, microphone's not that good, but those are really the only downsides. There's no microphone input, bad microphones, no hot shoe mount. Everything else about this camera is super awesome. It shoots amazing video, good photos, and it's just an awesome, portable, light, amazing camera. All right, so now let's get into the test footage, what this camera can produce, you know, what type of videos you can make with this, that type of thing. I shot a little sequence in the snow because it actually just started snowing today, which sucks, but you know, that's Michigan for you. So anyways, let's get into the test footage. Here we go. That is the Sony NEX 5R. Awesome camera, a couple limitations, but for $100, you cannot beat this camera. After testing out and reviewing, you know, the Sony NEX 3, the Sony NEX 5N, and actually another NEX camera that will be probably next week's video, so stay tuned for that. This camera is definitely my favorite one out of all the NEX cameras I've tested, and really all the budget cameras that I've tested. I mean, it's just, it's almost the full package. I just. I can't get over the no microphone input or hot shoe mount. You know, they should have just added that in, but I get that it's a budget camera. Besides that, I mean, this is just an awesome camera. Definitely go pick one up. And if you have one, go make some awesome content with it. I mean, it's, it's an amazing camera. My favorite out of the NEX series. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go and like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.